Hi, I'm Johan May. Um, I'm working at iQuality as a full stack developer. And yeah, I've been working here now for uh, about uh, 15 months, so just more than a year. Uh, I've been stuck a bit in my life living in my comfort zone in, in South Africa, still with my parents, and I wanted to get out of that comfort zone. And I decided why well, take a little step uh, to another uh, city or to another place in South Africa if I could take a big step like moving abroad to Europe. And why I needed to move to the Netherlands specifically was because of the similarity in Afrikaans and Dutch. And I also felt that uh, they were more of a op open-minded people. Um, and also I felt they they like to, like to get more uh, outside than uh, as uh, opposed to well, all the other countries here in Europe. Yes, I would definitely recommend the Netherlands uh, to other people coming abroad. Um, yeah, I, f I feel like they're a very more modern country, so that's very nice, and they don't have much. Uh, political problems uh, that could cause uh, you could cause issues in the long term. Yeah, um, so I met uh, uh, Diana uh, through LinkedIn and there we started chatting and at the start she had a job offer for me but uh, that unfortunately didn't work out. And then Corona came and it all got a bit hectic. So after Corona uh, was um, being a bit more milder and uh, the border started opening again, um, she had another job opportunity for me. And yeah, this time it, uh, it worked out perfectly. And yeah, so it was, and she was uh, very supportive along the way, always uh, know, knowing that, uh, she always knew that there was a chance that uh, I would find a job here in the Netherlands. Um, so, because this company is situated in Nijmegen, it's a bit of a more uh, Dutch-speaking uh, city as opposed to your bigger cities, Amsterdam and Utrecht. So the people, they, they mostly speak Dutch here. Uh, if you want, you can ask them to, to speak in English and they will do that. But uh, because of my Afrikaans uh, understanding, I asked them from the beginning to, do, to speak Dutch when they can. because. Uh, I find it that they're more at ease when they speak Dutch uh, as opposed to English, where they sometimes you know, also trip over their words. So it's just better for me to understand them that way. And yeah, the, so Dutch is my, the, the main language here. At the start, it was a bit difficult working remotely, not uh, seeing the people every day face to face. Um, but once I came to the Netherlands um, and started seeing the people in person and yeah, being surrounded with their Dutch speaking, it uh, yeah, it came along a, a long time. It was getting better every day, and I I can now uh, understand them fully. Maybe not uh, talk Dutch as well as I uh, yeah, as well as them, obviously. But yeah, I still need to learn some words. But uh, yeah, I think it's going quite well, and adapting to this. Uh, uh, environment uh, has also um, been quite uh, enjoyable. Um, what I mostly felt for where which they helped us with was um, just um, making sure of uh, trying to find out how everything went every step of the way and making sure that everything's still going fine. And in some cases, uh, with, for example, the Working with the relocation company, if things weren't going as quickly as they should, they always jumped in and made sure that uh, yeah, things were sorted, sorted out quickly as possible so that the process could move along. I felt that was very helpful from them. They were the only ones that reached out and, and kept in touch while the others, they, uh, like, you, like we said, they they had that one job opportunity and then they just didn't contact again. So yeah, that's why I felt uh, going through with Olaf was going to work out.
yeah and uh, especially i feel they uh they focus on you as a person and not as an another object or another yeah, more money for them they they really try to help you as a person in the process um and yeah i felt that was i feel that's different than you could get from another recruitment company Thank you.